Hey everyone, welcome to another Facebook Live. My name is Jeff Palmer, the CEO and founder of Clean Machine. This video is for educational and informational purposes only. And it's not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease. But we're going to be talking about one today. But something pretty interesting that, uh, that actually uh, has shown to slow the effects of the big C word itself. So it's an interesting study. So uh, this group of people, let's let's just uh, talk about um, what's up here on the screen first, the awesome power of exercise, the impact of just one day of intensive training. Okay. So this is pretty this is pretty amazing because we we know that um, exercise over time has lots of health benefits for it. Uh, reducing um, reducing the potential risk for diabetes, um, reducing God so many different things health challenges wise, um, and even I was listening to and I'm gonna go ahead and put it up on the screen in the comments section this uh, amazing interview with uh, Chef AJ interviewing Dr. John Scharfenberg, who's 99 years old as a doctor, 99 years of age great interview uh you should get a chance just look it up on youtube chef aj with dr sharfenberg 99 years age and in the interview he said uh he said something pretty interesting uh it was unfortunate that his uh two brothers did not live as long as he did but when asked uh, you know what he he thought was the difference or why he's still alive and they're not and he said one thing exercise so they were all vegetarians they're um they're uh from the same areas followed this basically the same diet vegetarian diet but he exercises every day and walks every day and um he gardens actually every day which is bending and stooping and and it's like doing squats and everything like that. So full body exercise, pulling and weeding and raking and and you're out in out in nature, out in the out in getting your hands in the dirt. I mean, this is this is a great way of grounding. It's a great way of getting fresh air, even breathing in some microbes from the soil, which produce B12. All good stuff. But I thought it was interesting that he pointed out the one major difference was exercise. So let's take a look at the study, the research. Uh, the first, um, the previous work, I'm going to go ahead and put this up on the screen for everybody to see. I'll put it in the comments section uh, if you're reading it live or reading it on our Facebook page, or if you are reading it, um, if you want to see. This is a quote from the article. And said the previous work from ECU's Exercise Medicine Research Institute has shown that men with advanced prostate cancer can change the chemical environment of their body over six months of exercise training. And it suppressed the growth of cancer cells. Now, the team observed increased levels of proteins called myokines, these are defense molecules which are produced by skeletal muscles and can suppress tumor growth, tumor growth, and even help actively fight cancerous cells by stimulating a range of anti-cancer processes in the body. Now, this is just basic exercise, but the intensity of the exercise matters. So this next phrase is, is, is what really sent this study to a unique place. So we know that long-term regular exercise, in this case, they were showing six months of exercise really helps suppress tumor growth. But here, this is what is mind-blowing. The new Emory study has shown that a single bout of exercise can elevate myokines even further and induce additional cancer suppression. This is how important exercise every single day, it matters. 
just a single bout, one exercise, couple, an hour, of even 20 minutes of exercise. So let's actually scroll down to what, what they thought was the optimal dose in the, in the research. I'm going to go ahead and put that up on the screen. And so, you know, when they ask, the optimal dose of exercise is not yet known, but is likely to be 20 plus minutes. So that's all 20 to 30 minutes. If you're intensely training 20 plus minutes each day and must include resistance training to grow the muscles, increase the size and capacity of the internal pharmacy and stimulate the myokine production. So this is really important that just farting around isn't going to do it. Intense resistance training, 20 to 30 minutes a day. So it's not a whole lot of time out of your day, but 20 to 30 minutes of resistance training using weights or bands or machines, but resistance training at a, at a, a significant enough intensity level will stimulate the myokine production, which then can add added benefits of cancer suppression. So this is the actual study. I'll put it up there as I always do with the link. It says the acute, acute meaning very intense or a lot, acute effect of high intensity interval aerobic exercise on serum myokine levels. That's how much myokines actually enter into the bloodstream and resulting tumor suppressive effect in trained patients with advanced prostate cancer. So these were taking a look at men who already had advanced prostate cancer and that the tumor suppression effect actually stopped that growth or, or slowed that growth enough to allow our body and maybe even a, you know, a pharmaceutical approach to it to be have a chance to be more effective to give the patient more time for different strategies to control or slow or stop or reverse that cancer to happen. So this is really important. This is the actual link to the article. If you're not really big into reading the research, this one can be important. Exercise is medicine for cancer and every dose counts. This is what it was really talking about, how every single bout of exercise really matters, even in late stages. So really important exercise, how important exercise, even a single bout of exercise could have that potential effect on cancer, on the production of myokines, which help our bodies um, reduce the growth and even destroyed cancer cells. So that's it. Real short one. It's short and sweet, but I just wanted to show you how important it is to get those intense resistance trained exercises in each day. Thanks for listening. We'll be back again tomorrow. Uh, <laughs> not tomorrow. <laughs> I'm taking the day off. We'll be back again every Thursday at 4 p.m. You can catch these live on Facebook at Clean Machine Fit. Or you can catch us later on the pre uh, on the recorded sessions on at YouTube at Clean Machine Online. Thanks for watching.